This is my 6th year of recapping OWC and I think this has been the most entertaining quarterfinals I have seen. Like the previous iterations I have put 4 losers brackets together. Only one country of each bracket will continue to semifinals. Get ready for a lot of tiebreakers. Losers bracket 1 starts off with Australia vs Singapore. Uh, one is going on right now? What? Apparently yes, and the Aussies got 3 points and completely destroyed Singapore on double time 3. Wow. It's actually gonna be 3 FCs and M rank. No, it, double is again. trolling! Singapore saw the chance and took the chance for a comeback run. They could equalize on another double time pick. Hey! This last section, you'd have to see them pretty much like fall over, but they're not gonna. Look at this! Amelia breaking, LR7 breaking, Demonocle, another reverse choke, pretty much. Wow, a blunder. Now it was Australia's turn again to show up. Milo and Emrek had some amazing egg runs on the Hard Rock map. Powerhouse teams goes into losers, and you're one of those teams like Singapore that really can go the distance. Just... Yeah, Milo and Suffix. Milo, just... what is that? That's hard rock, it's man. You're not supposed yeah. to do this. What is that, this 200s? Is... Yeah. 200s, okay. With another 3 0 run, Australia kicked Singapore out of the tournament in quarterfinals already. Wow, this losers bracket is brutal. Sweden and the Philippines were on the other side of the bracket. This match was pretty much neck and neck all the way. Have a quality map fight with over 4 million score from both teams. Sections coming up. Yeah, map's winding down now. It is all over on this one. Great team scores from both of them though. Look at those combos. 3 yeah. FCs to 3. After a Swedish breakpoint, the Filipino Rustin needed one themselves. This is why you should keep your focus until the end. Recat goes! Milk tea trades! The nerve! Look at shake from Kyok! Kyok holds on! And the Philippines have taken a crucial break point! The Swedes are quite known for being versatile, dominating on unusual or tech picks. This triple FC on Nomad 4 is some impressive proof. Yep, I guess the, the only way to put this is Philippines activated Sweden scrap card. They, this is definitely a, a pick that Sweden had scouted. They were ready for. At 5 to 4, a break point for the Philippines was desperately needed. The double FC on the Hard Rock 1 pick was absolutely what they had to do to force the tiebreaker. Sweden Triple missed. That's it, surely. That is, that is it. Definitely. We will be yeah. going to tiebreaker. Philippines get the break point. All the tiebreakers this block. Yes, this is already our first tiebreaker in the first losers bracket. And it was a nail biter. The losers leave the tournament. Find out who will face Australia. The massive break. Zone Louise goes down. Recat goes down. Andros is the only player with combo. Here comes the Philippines. Shock is there against Andros. Miss from Rambo is gonna hurt. Coming to the end, this is gonna get very close. Kagano and Yok double oh. miss. Andros. Andros is holding on for dear life. Andros will break at the end, but the damage was done. Wanna have some more of that adrenaline? Sure. Sweden versus Australia started off with a 20k points difference. There goes Couch. I think that's going to be enough. Even Dewey's miss here, as long as Jordan holds, it might just be enough. But there's so many misses coming through from both rosters that it's, it's really hard to tell. It's going to come down basically the ending here. If Jordan can hold, it's likely going to go over. There's finally the swap right before the end of the map. It's On the fourth map, the Aussies won a crucial breakpoint. The double FC on the awkward DT4 pick ensured a 3-1 lead. Hey. In some, some scenarios, except for suffix with 90%, but just going with the combo game. <laughs> I would also like to comment on Dummy's accuracy. My goodness, 99 on this map is absurd. Two picks after that, Sweden had to win their own double time 2 map to stay in the match. They certainly didn't expect such a close outcome. Spin to win. Reedcat and Andros just aren't going to be enough. Emrek and Suffolk need to break soon here or it's going to go back over to Australia. But there goes both Dummy and Machine. It's going to come down to just the very ending. It's spin to win almost 10k right now for Sweden. Right after that, Australia responded with a triple FC on the speed stamina Nomad 5 pick. I mean, this is just 
Australia has been really performing so well today, not even just on speed. Obviously, they've been performing well on speed, but even on picks like Double Time 4, even on picks like Nomad 4, they're contesting Sweden on all of these maps where... To force the tiebreaker, Sweden would have needed another breakpoint, which didn't happen. Australia moves on to the semi-finals. Loser's bracket 2 is probably the most explosive one. Romania, Indonesia, Chile and France. This means at least two top 10 seeded countries are going out. And the first match started off close, as so often. They didn't get it. Indonesia very slightly hold on to this lead. What are these triple FCs by Romania? They repeated the performance on the stream map Norma 2 to get their own first point. Yeah, they need to hold on to all of their combos now. They do flip it over with very little time left for turn and goes, but Skydiver goes as well. They're going to maintain that score gap. Romania will steal their first point, but only just once again. Indonesia coming in as a favorite proceeded with a big 3-0 run. Kres was so close, hidden SSing the Freema 2 pick. Wants Romania to get the point and it's a miss by Skydiver. There needs to be a miss coming out from Kress because there's a 400,000 point lead and there's only 10 seconds left. And I think this is still, despite the late misses, a point for Indonesia. Romania is the country that kicked out Poland from group stage in 2018 and forced Germany almost down to lose this bracket two years ago. Of course they are coming back. There's nothing that Indonesia can do but watch as Romania tie up the score. Earlier breakpoint on Fremont 2. At 4 all, each team won their own pick, so another tiebreaker was needed to determine the winner. Nanoyo and Eternum went absolutely ham. Roly does find a break, that's a big combo gone for Romania. But unless. I, there's just not enough time. Oh. Romania are going to advance. But can they do it in the style of Nanio with an FC? He breaks! Yep, Indonesia are out. I told you, this loser's bracket is relentless. We have to say goodbye to our first top seed. France vs Chile was not streamed on us live, but the French channel did it again. So have some French commentary while the French roster is getting destroyed on Itsudemo. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. <laughs> On a intercoming. Ah oui, d'accord. Ah, ça y est, nous avons bon. le dernier revenu incroyable. Bon. Ça y est, l'équipe est au complet. Il euh, y a quand même une win avec un. Fair enough. You have some French domination on the Nomad 4 tech pick now. The double FC is actually not bad. Il y a un peu de combo, Mati qui arrive toujours pas alors que il y a trois joueurs en oh là là là. FC côté français. Ils sont extrêmement solides sur cette map. Mais c'est leur map, ça. Je vois. Ça a l'air d'être. Oh, par contre, j'ai pas vu les Zepuna break. This match continued to go back and forth until the ninth map when Chile landed an important break point on the hidden two pick. Il n'y a pas assez d'erreurs. Nero qui break. Il n'y a pas assez d'erreurs côté euh, Chili et j'ai très très peur moi. Aikoro et Zepuna en mode turbo chad. J'espère que ce sera suffisant. This meant get the breakpoint or get out for France. And they got it, which meant another tiebreaker. Les gens qui disent que la souris est inférieure à la tablette, je pense qu'ils n'ont plus rien à dire maintenant. Oh mon dieu. Et Coro a du mal sur le stream, il a craqué, mais quel perf! Incroyable, c'est peut-être le meilleur play de ce weekend. Et c'est fini! Et on a gagné! You saw that right. Chile, another top seed, has been eliminated. Pickums are probably completely ruined after this round. As a result, Romania and France were fighting for a spot in semi-finals. This match was a battle of breakpoints as they started off not winning their own picks for five maps. Close fight though. The hidden on this map. Maybe one of the top scores this weekend on this pick, especially with the hidden mod. from France are a bit concerning. One thing to always take into account, if you are combo gaming somebody like this, as soon as that combo drops, all your score just vanishes because you are entirely relying on that combo to put you through, but it might just not matter. The miss is not gonna come through for France here until the very end of the map, if they come through at all. 
The match continued in a similar way. No team got a significant lead and France were able to equalize on the Hard Rock 2 map. With some incredible support, they reel them in. They've got a bite. See if they can get them back into the boat and the lead is flipping right at the end. The final slider! You might not be surprised, but Bado played quite a big role in these Romanian matches. He was able to force another breakpoint on Norma 3. You on the FC brings it home for Romania. There is no more map left. Nothing more to be said. Badu, so happy with his performance. He knows what he's done. Unlike last match, the French team were not able to get the very last breakpoint and thus are eliminated from the tournament. The lowest seeded team out of the four advances. Taiwan vs Turkey looked to be a tense match for the first few maps. The Taiwanese roster was the first to lead, but they were quickly caught up by Rai Koho and his FC on the Hard Rock 1 pick. However, the rest of the matchup has been one-sided. I think the 4 FC from Taiwan represents the following points quite well. Turkey tried their best, but Taiwan are too strong. The Turkish team will have to return next year. I just realized that this bracket had only one match streamed. Sorry for that, you will have to live with some screenshots again. Finland had a good start with the gimmick pick Nomad 6, getting the first breakpoint already. Nomad 5 was really popular as it was considered one of the easier maps when you have no problem with speed, so triple FCs on this map were an achievement but nothing rare. Finland extended their lead to 4-2 coming closer to victory. China closed the gap 4-3 and with perfect timing they could equalize for all on a hidden map. Each team won their own last two picks so it came to another tiebreaker. And I told you, this quarterfinals was crazy. In this very last map, the Chinese consistency prevailed and the surprise team from Finland is eliminated. China vs Taiwan, but let's keep out politics, only skill counts here. The Taiwanese team were looking to defeat China in similar fashion to Turkey by going 4 to 1 up. You feeling good if you're Taiwan, very confident when you win a map by this much. And it's on a very hard map too, this is not an easy map by any means, 2 FCs on this is kind of ludicrous. At 5-2, Taiwan had triple match point, which meant the Chinese team needed to win two own and a break point for a tiebreaker. First own point, check. It was on China as well. Oh, with that break on 9-7-5, I think that's going to be it. Okay. Burger Fox holding on. Genshin dropping the ball at the end there was very scary, but does run away with it. Next up, the break point. Goodness, this is a tutorial how to steal a point in the last 15 seconds. Who is there yet again, dude? It's the outlier. So we're looking at 600k's across the board, except Kuku, who's just running away for China right now. This is China's. Oh, Shield is in the background. Oh, Hold on. Shield is there with the 500 combo. And Wait, where did Shield come from? Super well. Wait, Hold on a Wait minute, Taiwan dude. just absolutely stealing it from my focus right now. Kuku's FC isn't gonna be enough. What? Never count Taiwan out in any OWC. I miss Flask and GFMRT, but Shield and Dazzlewind are here to play. See you next time, China. Coming to the last loser's bracket, the specialists from Norway faced the Juggernauts from South Korea. This wasn't streamed, but it might have been better like that. The Norwegian roster got brutally executed and 6-0 swept. Someone called the cops. Wait, Brazil vs Netherlands wasn't streamed either, no! So many overlaps can be annoying, not gonna lie. Anyway, Brazil started off well with a breakpoint on A. After that, both teams happily won their own picks consistently, but I'm pretty sure some of the points were quite a bit too close for comfort. 77k points on free mod 2, followed by a nomad pick that ended up being even closer with 28k points difference. And they continued until 5-3 for Brazil. Well, the Netherlands needed this pick by any means, but in the spin to win battle, Brazil emerged victorious. Man, pretty unlucky for the Netherlands. Please come back next tournament. Brazil vs South Korea was a sweep in favor of the South Americans last OWC. So time to get some revenge, said the Koreans, and went for four consecutive points. Flying Tuna had another good day. You've seen them perform well in, in this tournament thus far, but on this map, you know, sub 400k for both of them, that is just a rough spot to be in. Um, Tones is hopefully, yeah, there he is, he's back, but... Yo Brazil, you gotta wake up. They did. And as South Korea started to throw a bit, the Brazilian roster were able to get back-to-back -back three points. 
Mouse easy after all these years still got it. Carry for Brazil last year, actually. You know, you mentioned Nissan being one of those two big players for Brazil. Mouse easy was the other one. Um, and, you know, when you've got him coming back every year, you've... Remember that 4 FC from last match against Norway? Oops, they did it again. That's just an unbeatable score. More than 500,000. Yeah, Brazil South this Korea. match. Brazil this match has played so much better than they played yesterday. All like a lot of these scores just improving for them. But South Korea is four weighing, and there's They're... no way to fight against that. They're gonna put up a 4.5 million score. Four point yeah. South Korea successfully get their revenge for the sweep last year and move on from the last losers bracket. Brazil had some really hard matchup, I don't blame them for the elimination. On to the four winners bracket matches. The winners of these matches are guaranteed top 6. After the first map win, Xuti tried her best with the hidden hard rock FC, but the Japanese team force was stronger. If we get a couple of late misses, is this, that mod advantage? This gets kind of close. The, this gets yeah, like, wait close. a minute. It's not gonna go over. It's not gonna go over, but it gets kind of close. Canada didn't have any problems with the map loss at all, getting the W on GT3 in a 2v2 FC fight. Anything that Japan can do, Canada taking it back. Yep, that was a very strong performance from Canada through that, you know, middle to last third of the map. Japan just suffering those two untimely breaks. And Canada says, thank you very much, we will take that. The Canadians took the Taiwanese tutorial on how to steal a point and tried to replicate it. Pretty good, not gonna lie. Players are so confident and so consistent on maps like this. I just don't know if we're gonna see any breaks here at the end. It is blue. though! It blew! Wait a minute, he doesn't- Is there enough time? There is, there should be time. There's like 100,000 points left. And it goes Canada, over! With the steal! Japan couldn't work out the response and dropped down to lose this bracket. Canada secured the third, top six placement in a row. Russia dropped out in semi-finals in the past few iterations, so this was their chance to get a top 6 finish again. How about the triple FC on DT3 to show their ambition? And at the same time, without that small mistake on Leva Russian, that could be a 4-way to them as well. Hong Kong in early stages, man, they're so scary. No wonder they were extremely consistent on Fremont 1 with a triple FC of their own maybe to pick it. Red Pixel doing exactly what he did last time. Hidden FC on the board. Absolutely no sweat off his back. Well, I'm, I'm saying that and there's still some jumps to come up, but uh, uh um, um, go on. Go on, you can hit them. Okay, good. They were actually so confident that they completely overmodded Freema 2. Who does triple hidden hard rocker map in quarterfinals? Enough score potential. It will be a converted point. Team Blue, Hong Kong, take it by around about 400k despite the FC finally dropping on Hong Kong's side. This was another close match. When Hong Kong reached match point, Red Pixel with his OWC experience returned and landed the only FC on Norma 2. Converts their last pick and takes us into the tied up game state 5-5. Five to five. As I was saying earlier on in the match, you pick those more contested maps earlier on. Tiebreaker! Tiebreaker! We can't get enough of them! Look at those high combos, wow. Their highest combo drops Aoi Aoi unable to hold. And I think that's just gonna seal it up. These high combos have held through so much of this song for Hong Kong. Drag the three and Shiraha Yuki mainstays of this roster throughout this match. Russia dropped down to losers bracket in semi-finals. Oh, please don't be eliminated there. And Gretz Hong Kong getting top 6 as seed number 12. USA versus UK. I could watch this matchup again and again. Surprising for the majority, it was the UK going up 2-0. Malteser held his FC through A. Yeah. Not over yet, but there's basically no combo on the US apart from Airview. You cannot do that if you are the United States. That is a double break area. The only one left with the combo with no FC sitting on that. The US team quickly recovered. They equalized the score with an impressive 1x100 score on hidden 3 by Takito. When you have to sit here and say that Utami is your best bet of finding a break, you're really not looking good. And with Karthi missing, um, I think those chances have just closed, unfortunately. Takito is on a singular 100 right now. Just the one. It's very lonely. It could use a friend. 
The following map is just madness. There is not much to add. It is Nomad 5, yes, but still. Just by a little bit for the accuracy. If this is an 8-way FC into the ending, the UK takes it. They cannot find a break on this last bit. There's axe drops, but nobody misses into the last slider. It's going to be into the last couple streams here, and the UK takes it on oh. Ack. After this intense pick, the UK got quite unlucky with two super close map losses. After that, a North American power demonstration happened. A triple FC on Nomad 6 is unheard of. Actually, very confident on this one. Look at the hack as well. Kingling's having such a great game, has to be said, in the map he's come in for. Very yeah. well played. This was another victory for the United States, but they can bleed. The UK dropped down to losers bracket, but I don't think that will stop them. Germany vs Poland is another classic. Even though it started half an hour later than the US vs UK match, the first six maps were not streamed. Poland were down 1 to 5, but not giving up yet. Jittery, you never feel it when you're shaking. Mark, though, oh, that could be crucial in Poland's not winning this pick here, but they might have done just enough. The German team didn't take advantage of two match points, now came the third chance. Okinama on a hidden pick? Yeah, count me in. Shevsky doing all that they can right now. Hallow Watcher the only one to find another break, and I think that's just gonna be it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left here, unfortunately. Map far too gone. Germany and getting at least top six, name a better duo, I await. Poland will have to fight through losers bracket from next week on. And that's it for this round. 147 maps in 16 matches were played this round. That's more than 9 per match. This is why Nomad 2, Nomad 5 and Double Time 2 both received 100% participation rate. Hidden 2 most banned, woo! But together with Nomad 2 this time. So, Russia, Australia, UK and Taiwan are in losers bracket 1, Japan, South Korea, Poland and Romania are in losers bracket 2 and only two of them make it to finals. Please check the schedule on Friday. Oh, quarterfinals recap is the most time-consuming one in the series. Thanks for making it this far. See you next week then. Please enjoy game.